I'm Ann Van Vossen with the Classical Learning Resource Center. I am here today with Madame Mauro and Madame Wegman, two of our French teachers at the CLRC. Would you each introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Madame Wegman, and I began at the CLRC a couple years ago. I started out teaching French one. Last year we added French, French two, and this year we have French one through three. So I am teaching French two and French three, and I love France, have lived there, have worked there, um, and completed my um, PhD and my master's at the University of Maryland in French, which is where I met Madame Morrow. And this year, I have loved teaching French at the CLRC so much that I recruited her to come on board and take over French one. Hi, I'm Madame Morrow, and I am, this is my first uh, semester of teaching with the CLRC, as Madame Wegman said. Um, I have been teaching French at various levels um, for about 10 years now. I started at elementary school. I worked my way up to middle, high, and then university. So I did the whole thing. And now I'm excited to be back teaching high school students for French one this year. I did my um, master's in education at Wake Forest University and my master's in French at Maryland. And I also have studied Italian and Spanish, but I really love French. That was my first my first love of the Romance languages. Wonderful. And tell me a little bit about what an online French class looks like at CLRC. Um, you know, I was admittedly um, skeptical about how long term I was going to enjoy this online teaching because I had always taught in the traditional classroom. But what I found is that the CLRC students, um, by the time they get to high school, they are used to it and they were really able to dive in with me. And um, we found some really fun ways to study the language. So I'm gonna share my screen really quickly and just kind of show you a quick example of what a class would look like. This is a um, class for French three um, a chapter where they're learning about technology. Um, so we often have a warm up, something fast where we'll play a little game, we'll do word matching, um, something quick just to review um, what we've learned, what we've studied. And um, then we'll kind of move through various um, vocab recognition exercises. Um, we watch a lot of short movies. We really try to explore um, uh, French culture, both pop culture and um, things from French and Francophone history. We also do a lot of role play and a lot of games. So um, what you can't quite understand here is this is um, uh, a game where the students are having to explain to an um, agent of Madame Wegman here how to use technology. They each, we have a practice dialogue and then they each have a various technological function that they have to prepare and give instructions to. We use the Zoom classroom. So we do a lot of role play, a lot of games, a lot of conversations. The students give presentations. Um, even though we are using, we are meeting virtually, um, it is a heavy participation focused course where the students spend a lot of time talking and um, interacting. Um, we also play a lot of phonetic games and every semester the students memorize a full length French poem. Um, so even though this is a virtual class that only meets twice a week, they spend a lot of time talking and really come out of um, each level ready to communicate at the appropriate level. Great. And you just mentioned that the class meets just twice a week. So could one of you talk a little bit more about that? How can you really learn a modern language when you're only in class twice a week? So I first got introduced to this, what we call flipped model of teaching when I was in college and I was studying Spanish. And I was amazed how in one semester I was able to go from no knowledge to really communicating by the end. And the way that it was accomplished was through this flipped model of teaching. We were given our reading and things to learn and practice ahead of class so that by the time we got to class, the class time was really devoted to communicating and using the language that we had practiced for that day. So it, it took the time away from what in a traditional classroom you might think of as the blackboard or the PowerPoint where you're you know, going through and listening to a lecture, this is a really, um, you come to class prepared to speak and to practice using the language. Um, exactly like Madame Maro said, is we um, use this method, the flipped and blended model, where students spend a lot of time preparing before they come to class what they're gonna see. Um, that doesn't mean that we expect them to learn it all at home, um, that's what they're here for, but it means that they come in already knowing what they don't understand. They come in having already studied a little bit of the past tense and they're prepared to say, I don't understand where we use this helping verb over this one because they've already looked at it. Um, and one thing that's been really interesting is we use a curriculum, um, the D'accord series that is used, um, it's one of the most widely 
widely used high school textbook series. And even though our students are meeting virtually and they're only meeting twice a week, we are still on pace to complete this series across four years um, at the same standard rate as other high schools. So these students are not falling behind. And many times they would be able to um, go on and transfer in and out of a traditional model school at the same level that they did in the CLRC because we are moving along at that textbook at the recommended rate. It's also been kind of cool because since both Madam Morrow and I have taught at the university level, we both have a lot of games, reading exercises, um, test questions, et cetera, that were developed for university level students. And I have been able to use some of those materials with my um, French three, French two, and even French one students because the structure that we use to teach, the format and the curriculum itself really lends itself to learning quickly. The students use an online platform for homework that gives them a lot of targeted practice um, and lets them do exercises over. It has recordings that they listen to. So they aren't just getting French for two hours a week with me. They're also getting French for an additional two hours at home at some point during the week. And they really do learn a shocking amount of French. What do you most enjoy about teaching French? I mean, I would say the food because I love French food, but we're not eating all. You know, I love um, the times that we get to really um, have our study touch on funny cultural quirks. I love French culture. I love the French people. I love the history of French art and literature. And it's really fun when the students access to a language gets to unlock that for them. And they get to see that this isn't just a series of dry verbs they're conjugating, that they're getting access to an entire um, people group and history and traditions and there are jokes and that's so much fun to see them experience that and know that someday they will hopefully get to go to a French speaking country and um, the things they've learned in the classroom are going to um, let them explore a new place in the world. Yeah, that's pretty much spot on what I would say. I remember experiencing that as an eighth grader and I love seeing students experience that for themselves too, that they now have access to people and places that they previously were not connected to or wouldn't have been able to because of that language barrier. That's a really fun thing to see. Wonderful. Thank you, Madam Mauro. Thank you, Madam Wegman. Uh, you can see our French 1, 2, and 3 courses at clrconline.com. And just a reminder, too, all of our courses are now accredited by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. So that's a wonderful addition this year. Uh, so it's easy to get uh, credit for them that way, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.